Hi, Dr. Feldman. This is Hal Jacobs, PGA professional at Worcester Country Club, just reviewing our lesson on August 11th, 2010. Here's your setup. Uh, looks really good in terms of setup. Uh, there's a couple things we worked on. We worked on syncing up uh, your hands and your arms uh, and your chest and your hips. So just uh, let me go through a couple things here, and I'm going to bring up uh, David Toms over here on the right. You guys have very similar body uh, frames, and I think that the, it's pretty good in terms of uh, a comparison. So let me get David Toms up there up top on his golf swing. I really like the way the way you take your golf club back. I think it's it's perfect. It's on plane. It's great. Um, very similar to David Toms right here. And then, uh, unfortunately, we start to see a few. Uh, differences. As, as you can see this move right here, your head's going down. Um, you, your hips are starting to turn, but then they stop. Um, and as you can see how far your hands are from your body. Watch David Toms as he comes down to the impact position. His hands are a little closer to his body. His hips are way more rotated than yours. Um, as you come into impact, you can see from uh, this position here, halfway down to impact, your hips haven't moved at all. And uh, David Thomas just keeps rotating through the shot. In fact, at impact, um, you know, you can't see much of his left shoulder where I can still see your left shoulder here. Uh, and I think a lot of that has to do with what we worked on. We worked on your hips uh, rotating first and through, and then your shoulders, and then your hands. So I think uh, if you keep working on that, trying to sync everything up so that your hips rotate first and keep going through the shot, and then your shoulders turn, and then your hands come in the impact, I think you'll be way more consistent than you are now. So let me know how it goes, and uh, let me know when you want to set up another lesson.